That was not what I expected. <laughs> Hey everyone, Dan and Leslie here, back for another Disney Dining Review. Happy anniversary. 19 <laughs> long years. <laughs> Just kidding, happy anniversary. <laughs> it's been 19 amazing years, and doesn't she get more and more beautiful Aww. every single year? Um, yeah, our anniversary is today, 19 years, and going strong. Look forward to another 19, hopefully, fingers crossed, yes. right? Um, many, many more than that. <laughs> so we are dressed a little bit nicer today, as nice as nice gets here in Central Florida with it yes. 93 degrees outside. And if yes. you hear the thunder, it is storming. So um, that's always fun. Aww, so I hope my hair wasn't, uh, you know, like... Well, you look good in the intro video. <laughs> we are going to an award-winning restaurant with a dress code. I'm kind of excited. So this is Todd English's Blue Zoo. Mm. Uh, we've not ever been here. I, honestly, when we were coming to Florida for vacations, this restaurant never even made like my maybe list. Like it just was one that I always passed over. So it's dinner only. It is. It is in the Dolphin. So it's a little out of the way. So this is yeah. not a Disney restaurant. It is not even in a Disney owned resort. It is um, not really on our radar. However, it looks fantastic. This is- I am so excited. It is coastal cuisine. The drinks look amazing. Oh, can we talk about the drinks? <laughs> yes, let's talk about so, drinks. So I don't even know what I'm gonna get because there's one on here called the Vecna. Um, if I want you, the Vecna. I'm, I'm getting the Vecna. <laughs> um, if you are a Stranger Things fan, you know Vecna. This is described as a stranger cocktail. It's got dark rum, passion fruit liqueur, pineapple, orange, lime, bitters served <laughs> old school in an 80s themed lunchbox. I don't understand really how the drink is served in the th <laughs> lunchbox, but I'm so excited. I just, I really want it. Some of the appetizers and entrees look fabulous. They do have, it is, it's coastal cuisine. So they do have seafood as well as, um, I want to say turf, but you know, steaks and chicken and that kind of thing. Yeah, so a couple of things that really popped out to us, there is a Peking duck birria taco as an appetizer on here. We we have just recently discovered <laughs> birria tacos and we really like them a lot. We do. Um, did I mention this is an award-winning triple A, four diamond, four, three diamond, triple A, <laughs> I don't know, three diamond, four, Whatever's. Whatever However many A's there are, it's award-winning. I'm very yes. excited about this. Yeah. There's also tuna poke tacos. There's crab nachos, pot stickers, barbecue pork pot stickers, all on the appetizer list. And we haven't just even get the made appetizers. it to the entrees yet. Just want the appetizers. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, with the entrees, you've got soups. You are, I mean soups. You've got um, pizzas, like flatbreads. You have uh, fish. You have skirt steak. You've got butler steak, you've got a lobster bucatini. So all of that to say, there is going to be a ton to choose from. Yes. We are going to lean heavily on the waiters or waitresses recommendations, and we will let you know how it goes. This has been our, on our radar for a while, ever since living here, but we wanted to kind of save it for a nicer occasion. What better than our anniversary? What better? Are you ready? I'm ready, let's do it. Let's do it. Right, so we have been playing musical chairs, trying to get this thing right, and- I've been in three um, spots now. Here's a little bit of behind the scenes for you. I broke the last camera and did not transfer the mount over to coincide with the little table tripod that we have here, so I'm gonna be holding this through dinner tonight. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. Um, there actually is a lot of really cool looking things here, starting with the cocktails. So you yeah. got the- I got the Vecna. So he said it is, it kind of is more like a rum punch, um, but it's a pop and, pop and circumstance type uh, uh, presentation with like lights and music and smoke and I'm beyond excited. Yeah, it's in a little Pac-Man lunch pail and has like, uh, you know, 
know, Vecna type stuff and lights inside. It does very much taste like a rum punch. I mean, that's a perfect explanation for it. So, I mean, the, the drink itself is not like anything over the top or super creative or anything, but the presentation most presentation definitely was. Pretty cool. <laughs> I got the Barney Rubble, which um, it has a Slim Jim on the top and it has bone infused bourbon. <laughs> So there's quite a bit of salt, which I got a lot of. I'm mainly tasting salt right now. It says that it comes with uh, a simple syrup in there, but I'm not tasting any sweetness at all. Like all I'm getting is that bourbon. I can definitely taste that bone infused bourbon, um, but I think it does need a little bit of sweetness to balance it out. So I, I don't, I don't really care for that. The duck tacos have arrived. <laughs> These things look incredible, actually. They do look incredible. Oh, man. And the, the outside of the taco is not greasy like a, like the other birria tacos. I'm not I sure think. if that's better or worse, though. Mm, well. I like the greasiness of a birria taco. So it comes with duck inside of these deep fried uh, shells or taco shells. And then it comes with a hoisin dipping sauce. How is it? really good. It's a different take on birria tacos, obviously. I mean, you're going in with duck instead of like a braised beef. There is definitely a kick to it. The cotilla cheese is nice. I really, really like it, but it's not really my idea of a birria taco. It is surprisingly loud in here. There's carpeting, there's padded chairs, but it's one giant room and it is just very loud. Okay, so I got the lobster bucatini. So um, it actually, like, I'm impressed because of the the cost of it. Like, it wasn't like overly crazy pricey, and there's like huge pieces of lobster in this. Um, so I'm I'm a little bit impressed. Try it. Okay. All right. Well, he told me to mix it all together. So oh. Come on. I'm gonna try a risotto tot. So these things look actually really good. So deep fried risotto. It's pretty freaking outstanding. Is it? That is really good. I have my little bite. It's all stirred up. The flavors are wonderful. It's super creamy. The lobster's cooked well. Really, really good. The swordfish, um, I got a uh, crab Dijon sauce. It's a little dry. Um, just a tad overdone. Good flavors, but um, I mean, when you when you take a bite of something, you shouldn't necessarily immediately want water <laughs> to to swallow. We're stuffed, and we have a huge pile of food left. So <laughs> I don't think we can do dessert again. Like we're you, failing miserably. We really were gonna get dessert this time uh, because it's our anniversary, but I just I can't. I can't. We will finish this up at home. We've got some interesting thoughts about um, all of the different levels of service and food and drinks and everything. So we will catch you there. That was not what I expected. <laughs> But before we get started, if you would like help planning your next magical vacation to Disney, Universal, any cruise line, or most all-inclusive resorts, we would absolutely love to help. We would feel honored if you would trust us to help you with that vacation. It does not cost any more to book with Fantastical Vacations. We have a number of very, very qualified um, concierge travel agents that would love to help. Please visit us at Fantastical Vacations and check us out. I'm gonna save you some time. If you don't wanna watch the rest of this video, you don't have to. Just if you want that type of food, go to the boathouse. It is way better and probably a little bit less money and easier to get to and free parking. You're very tappy, 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 tappy. Tappy, 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 tappy. He said, don't you know there's storms? It's terrifying. <laughs> it's $32 to park at the Dolphin and they will uh, validate your parking ticket at Blue Zoo when you check in. However, when we were leaving, one of the attendants, luckily she was there, she had to manually open the gate because the little validation thing wouldn't scan. After yelling at the guy that was inside the booth who had his feet propped up on the wall, playing on his phone like three times. <laughs> Let's talk about the ambiance. Yeah, so there was some convention going on. It was a data analytics convention. Those guys are party animals. They, it was very loud. It was very loud. Very loud in the restaurant. And I don't know if that's the way it always is, but I mean, it is like one big open room, but they did have like, you mentioned like a lot of things that should absorb sound, but it was just like, 
Yeah, Wait. it was pretty loud. Ambiance, as far as like the decorations, it was themed, it was themed fine. Like the it's decorations pretty. were very nice. They like, they weren't worn or anything. What I didn't care for in the ambiance is that they kept rearranging furniture. <laughs> like not, they, it's not like they took two tables and they pulled them together. They were <laughs> hauling in tables from a storage area that was just like around from where we were sitting. And it was very distracting and really kind of annoying because they have to move a table next to us out of the way. And then two people would carry a table in and then <laughs> carry chairs in and then carry chairs out. And this it it didn't just it didn't happen once. It happened multiple times. It very much took away from the experience for me. It was one of the most interesting <laughs> things that I've seen happen during a dinner service at a really nice restaurant like that. You just like I get like put it pulling a couple of tables together for a larger party, but I mean this was like it was it was bizarre. It was weird. Um so we are giving ambiance a three. I'm not, just I'm not even sure if it deserves that. All right, service. Um, our guy started off strong. Again, we Dead. got there pretty early. We, our reservation was 6.15. They just opened at 6. And he started off strong. He was very good. He made recommendations. Um, and then they set two large parties throughout, throughout the course of our meal um, by us, so in his section. And he forgot about us. He just yeah. focused on the large parties. And I don't know if he was just sure that he was gonna make a better tip with them because I'm sure there was a guaranteed 18% gratuity and there was like eight of them on one table and six of them on another. But um, he started off at a four and he wound up at probably below a three, but I think we're just gonna give him a straight up three just because. Yeah, the probably one of the things that disappointed me this, the most is that I got this really cool drink that served in an old school 80s lunchbox. It was called the Vecna. So it's like this whole spinoff of Stranger Things. And so your drink is like nestled in this, like this nest of like black stuff with red lights. And um, part of the way, like I, I had barely had my drink for very long and he came over and asked me for the, <laughs> He's lunchbox like, back because somebody else lunchbox. was ordering one and I I paid twenty two dollars for that drink. So <laughs> I feel like I should have gotten to have my lunchbox for the whole entirety of my beverage. So that was I did not like that. So we're giving them a three. Let's talk about drinks. Drinks were interesting. So they had a massive wine list and then they had a list of probably what, ten or twelve specialty cocktails? Yeah. Um, we asked, and we you asked about the Vecna. It was the most expensive cocktail at $22. The presentation was, it was interesting. <laughs> it was kind of fun. It was fun. Uh, but the drink was just a rum punch. Yeah. Nothing special about it. And then I asked for like an old fashioned, if they had a specialty cocktail that would mimic that. And what he brought, like it was. It, was, it wasn't great. It wasn't good. It's below average for me, honestly, which is unfortunate because I really wanted to like the drinks. I know, I really wanted to like my $22 Vecna drink, um, which I probably would have liked it more if I got to keep my lunchbox. So two and a half, two and a half for the drinks. And that may be a little generous. Food, food was actually pretty good. Food was good. So we had the bread starting off was really fantastic. They have like a fennel butter, which was, um, I thought was really fantastic. And then they brought out like three different kinds of bread. And then we got the birria tacos, the, the duck birria tacos, which were I, also- Again, kind of gimmicky to me. I thought the duck was done well inside of them. So, um, and then I got the lobster bucatini, which whenever he first put it in front of me, I was a little disappointed because of the small size of it, like the portion size, and then she I couldn't finish even finish it. it. I mean, it, it's so, pasta is so deceptive, I feel like. <laughs> um, anyway, but it was very rich, very creamy. The flavor was really fantastic. Like, I think I got the winner out of the two of our meals yeah. for sure. My swordfish, um, I could definitely see how it'd be a spectacular dish. It was just a little overcooked. Um, it was like crispy on the, it was like seared on the outside, but they left it go too long. So the edges were a little burnt and the inside it was dry. And that was unfortunate because the flavors were pretty good. The best thing on the table for any course was the risotto tots. Mm, those were really tasty. Those were great. Um, I didn't love the dip, but he did. I um, liked the dip. Anyway, so I think we're gonna give the food what four, did we? Four, I think, right? Did we decide? Yeah, it was good. I, I really, the food was above average for sure. I could like teeter between a three and a half and a four. All right, so what does that leave but us with? What does that leave us with? <laughs> Divided by four is like 3.125. One, two, five. One, two, five. <laughs> I think that's fair. 
I think that's fair. I mean, just it is slightly above average. We won't be back probably just because there are so many amazing restaurants on Disney property and this well, is out of the way. And I don't want to spend that much money for a slightly oh, above average. Yeah, so they don't meal. do any discounts, no annual pass, yeah. no DVC. And I mean, with tip for the two of us, granted, I mean, it's our anniversary. We wanted to have a nice meal, but $197. I mean, you're talking two cocktails, one appetizer, and two entrees with a side dish. Two cocktails in which my lunchbox got taken away from <laughs> right. me. But it's I'm not a little like, bitter about it's this. It's not like we got an expensive bottle of wine or multiple cocktails or dessert even. Like, that's a lot. $197 is a it's lot a for lot. two people. Even, to even get for your an anniversary. Take it away. Oh my gosh. <laughs> with the lunchbox. So if you are liking these videos, please hit that like and subscribe button. Um, we're not always cranky about the dining room. Only when we spend $197 and don't get blown away. And your lunchbox gets taken away. <laughs> and we will see you on the next video.